Take a chance, you never know But you don't know it's beautiful Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel and welcome to the first video of 2021. It's so crazy to say that like it's officially 2021. We're over 2020. I'm over 2020. Been over 2020. So I'm just excited to see what this year brings. How was y'all new year? How was y'all Christmas? How was life? I know y'all haven't seen me in two weeks but you know it was my birthday. It was Christmas. It was New Year's. My boyfriend was in town. It was just a lot going on. I was working so I decided just to take some time to myself but in this video pretty much is just going to be a three and one get ready with me um for those of you who didn't know my birthday was december 30th this is the day of me recording this video so i decided to do um a video of me just doing my hair doing my makeup and then showing you guys the little outfits that i would wear you know if it wasn't quarantining if it wasn't a pandemic outside if i was to be able to go outside and really celebrate these would be the outfits that i would wear First things first, if you guys have not went out and got this Jackie Ina palette yet from ABH Cosmetics, girl, what is you doing? This is like my all-time favorite palette of 2020, and I'm definitely going to be taking this over to 2021 with me. But yeah, I just love this palette so much. Um, I'm not really going to be going into detail as far as like the makeup, but I will be having everything listed down below in the description box. So if you guys are interested in knowing what products I use and the outfits, my hair products, all the other stuff like that, go ahead and check down below in the description box and everything will be listed there. But if you are new to Deja Nicole TV, hey girl, welcome. Make sure you guys go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Click that subscribe button if you haven't already. And make sure you guys turn on your post notifications so you can be notified when I upload next. So for those of you who aren't new, I know you guys can see that we are in a different setup. We're not in my room today. I'm actually in a hotel. Like I said, this is the week of my birthday. So I went ahead and got a hotel room for a few days. I actually work at a hotel, so I stayed at my job while I was working just to be able to you know, chill and re relax at the same time. And if it's one thing that I did in 2020 that I'm definitely going to be taking into 2021, is just having some staycations. Like... <laughs> You ain't gotta vacate all the time to relax and everything. You could be right in your city, right in your hometown, away from your normal scenario, scenery, not scenario, whatever the two, and just like chill and relax. I did it a few times um, in 2020, especially when COVID hit. I normally travel a few times a year with, with church and stuff like that. So it was just like, if I felt a type of way just to be like restricted to Buffalo the entire time. So I'm just like, I'm gonna go get a hotel room for a weekend. I'm gonna go do this, I'm gonna go do that. And it definitely just helps give me like a peace of mind. It helps me kind of like refresh and reset. So I'm definitely gonna be doing that in 2021. So I will strongly encourage everyone, especially after this year that we just had, we don't know what to expect really in 2021. So definitely, you know, if it's needed, you know, if you got stuff going on, if you just want a break, but you know, you can't travel, go get you a hotel room away from your house, a, week, a few hours away or something like just go somewhere and get out, go get you some peace, you know, relax, light some candles, get you a nice bubble bath, you know, have some music and everything playing, have the lights dim, whatever. It could be yourself, your girls, your boo, whoever, but I would definitely recommend just go stay kate somewhere and be at peace and do you but y'all can we just talk about my skin real quick let's tap in real quick let's tap in um i feel like my skin looks so good in this moment like the sun and the daylight is just hitting it right and if it's one thing that i really want to do this year is to just take better care of my skin and not that that i haven't been taking care of it already like i have me like a little, little fake baby skin um care routine i have a little video on my channel so if you guys haven't seen it make sure you go check it out but um pretty much like you know i do stuff to my face i have products and everything but i really want to take like take my skincare to the next level like um try some more products whether it's expensive or cheap whatever but just really be more cautious as far as the stuff that i'm putting on my face and everything and take better care of it and be more so concerned as far as my base and my skin rather than my makeup as well because you know makeup is cool and all and whatnot but you know if your skin ain't right then the makeup ain't gonna be right your skin is the base of everything so i definitely went up into sephora and i checked out some products and everything so i'm excited to share with you guys some of the new things that i'm trying but that's one thing that i really want to do in 2021 especially with these masks and everything like skincare is if it hasn't it was already important but now more than ever with the mask is so much more important 
so much more important what <laughs> i don't think that makes sense but y'all get the gist if it's one thing y'all, y'all gonna learn about me if y'all haven't already your girl can't talk <laughs> i talk fast and sometimes i stumble over my words or whatnot i gotta like if it, if you catch me in person it's like horrible sometimes i gotta be like Loo-loo-loo, and like restart and like do it over it and i'll be like what what did you what did you just say um but i'm working on it but that's one thing about me that i just your girl can't speak i don't know why But big shout out to my little sisters and my mom. They definitely came through this day. After I recorded this video, I went ahead and did like a little birthday photo shoot. So they, I had all these balloons that I did not have time to pop, uh, not pop, blow up. So no, they went to Party City, got my balloons um, blown up. They was here manually blowing up the other ones, had my room and everything set up. Girl, you know, it's a teamwork. It's a team effort over here in these streets. Like (laughs) YouTube in general is just a lot of teamwork. But like this day, I appreciate all of your help. And now you're going to be watching this. So thank you but in this part of the process it was definitely me against the sun it's winter over here in buffalo so at like 4 45 the sun starts to go down so i was definitely trying to hurry up before it dimmed on me the light indefinitely changed but i guess i made it work you know we look cute or whatever i guess i did it in time and now that i'm looking at this clip another thing <laughs> that i want to do in 2021 i definitely want to start you know dibbling and dabbling a little bit more in some lip combos you know i'm not really a lipstick person but i love gloss so i definitely want to take the time and the effort to just do better as far as like gloss and trying out different products and stuff like that but this is the finished look as far as the makeup we look cute now onto the hair you know my hair is already done obviously i got these like braids all the way down to my booty because you see to my mama um so she braided my hair like the week of christmas so this is the style that i'm working with when i have braids i really don't do anything special or crazy to them i leave them down um so now with this i'm just like pretty much twisting i'm doing like a senegalese twist kind of but on my scalp um with the braids and i'm just gonna pull the other side back and just wrap it up just like that i'm horrible at explaining stuff but you guys see what i did y'all saw what i did y'all know but this is literally how I wear my hair 99.9% of the time when my hair is in braids, especially when they this long. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to fix up my edges and everything real quick. And then that is the hair look. Nothing too crazy, nothing too special. But overall, you know, we cute. Get the makeup done, the hair is dead. Now let's go get into the outfits, girl. But for this three in one, I'm going to be doing this the Sophieology way, the OG way, you know. Sophieology, in my opinion, she made these three in one get ready with me's. You know, other people, they do their hair, they make up, and they outfits, and that's it. I wouldn't call that a three in one. Just That's just the normal get ready with me. Sophieology's was three in one because she literally gave you three looks in one video. So that's what I'm going to do. She's ultimately my favorite YouTuber. I'll link her YouTube down below in the description box just so you guys can check it. Um, her versions of the three ones get ready with me out if you guys haven't already but yeah i'm giving y'all three outfits we're gonna go ahead and jump into the first one in advance i just want to apologize for the little black space around like the side by sides you know this is my first time ever recording like this but we learning over here so learning process it ain't gonna be for a freak right away but anyways this is the first outfit i would consider this a chill outfit this is what i wore when i pretty much was just in the house you know doing something within the house nothing too special it's just a sweater um two-piece set from fashion nova i love the color i love the like sweater design and i absolutely love the fit it is so nice and it was so comfortable it felt so good i wasn't restricted i still felt you know loose and be able to maneuver and do whatever i wanted but this is just that perfect cute little chill in the house outfit in my opinion it's winter time and it's quarantine so you know whether you're doing something you know out you can wear it out as well but this is pretty much what i just had you know to have in the house on my birthday when i still want to look cute and if i were to wear this out the house this would be the bag that i would pair it with just this um you know two-tone brown and tan calvin klein um handbag just you know nothing too heavy nothing you don't i really don't need like a big statement bag with this outfit it's um, especially because of, this is just gonna be like a chill outfit so that would be the purse that i will pair it with and then these would be the boots again it's winter so just these cute tan uggs with the little bows i love these they're so cute but that would be the look you know it's simple and it's cute but like, comfy and stylish now on to look number two now this right here you know this is this part that party look you know if you want to go out and party this is that look for you now it's not nothing too crazy but it's still serving it's my birthday give me a drink type of vibes you know this is this cute like sherpa um sweater material like crisscross top um from windsor 
and then I went ahead and paired it with some high-waisted blue um, ripped jeans I feel like this outfit was so cute and cozy and I absolutely love the feel of this shirt omg but yeah these are the jeans that i paired it with i will say you know i probably wouldn't wear it again with ripped jeans just because the boots kind of covered up the um distressingness that you guys are going to see the boots soon but it is my birthday so you know i went out and got me one of the little birthday girl headbands from windsor as well you know like i said this is that party fit so you want to make it known wherever you go that it is your birthday so i would definitely wear this headband with that i feel like it makes the outfit look so cute you don't need no purse for this it's, it's your birthday somebody else gonna be holding your stuff you know you you're gonna be out handling and doing what you got to do and then these are the boots that i paired it with these boots i featured in my um fall shoe haul so if you guys didn't see that make sure you guys go ahead and check this out but i just feel like these boots just help give it um some type of contrast with the outfit you know the, you got a white top blue jeans might as well have some tan boots and they come literally all the way up to like your thighs like they're super super high i absolutely love this look but now on to look number three so this next look i would consider this the perfect like birthday dinner date or dinner celebration in my opinion you know it's simple but it's cute i'm always for you know simple cute we don't really do not extra unless it's a church outfit pretty much <laughs> but if you guys haven't already this dress was featured in my fashion over fall haul i absolutely love this like burnt orange or rust brown whatever you want to call it um turtleneck sweater dress it's not super thick though it is lightweight so you won't be really hot in it um it's not really fitted either but if you're a curvy girl your curves and everything definitely real a uh, real show like you can see my chest and my stomach low key so if you have some hips and stuff it'll be perfect for you um but i just paired this bag with like this quilted um gold handled um handbag from fashion nova um you can either pull the handles together and wear it nice and short or if you wore of a long handbag type of girl you can adjust it and just wear one strap at the same time i really feel like it gave the look some extra like detail especially because this is a turtleneck so me personally i wouldn't wear a necklace with it but i feel like the bag just gave it that that perfect accessory that i needed to just help take the outfit to the next level And then I just paired it with these black knee-high boots with a little bit of a heel, you know, nothing too crazy, but the outfit all together is cute in my eyes and it's perfect. Happy birthday to me, girl. This is the final and the last look and we are at the end of the video. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. I hope you guys enjoy, if not all, one of the looks. I pray that you guys have an amazing year and that you guys had an amazing Christmas and New Year's. I pray that you guys are safe this year and just have a blessed 2021. Um, if you guys haven't already, make sure you give this video a thumbs up, comment and subscribe, please, you know, to help your girl out. But as always, I will see you all next Wednesday. Bye. Take a chance, you never know. But you don't know.